Hey creative minds, thank you guys for keeping me company while we sew our piece together. And I'm so sorry it took so long. Um, finding the right pants to match my bodysuit was an issue. But thanks to the source, I was able to just figure something out. And please do not forget to subscribe if you're seeing this channel for the first time. And don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up for the new and for the returning subscribers. And you guys, let's go ahead and place our pattern on the fabric and start cutting. Success is a finicky thing, and if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let myself down myself. Now the first thing I'm going to do is fold my fabric into two and then place my pattern. This is my fabric and I am using a stretchy fabric. You guys, this really stretches a lot. So make sure you're using a stretchy fabric. And if you're not, please go ahead and leave a lot of allowance. Now this is a front pattern. I'm just going to start with the front. So I'll place the front pattern on my fabric. Place my book so it doesn't move while I cut. And while I am cutting, I'm just going to leave half inch allowance around the pattern. But if you're not using a stretch of fabric, please leave more than that. You can leave one inch. But for me, my fabric stretches and I'm just going to leave half inch round. Now, for those of you that don't have your pattern available, that means you're seeing this video for the first time. You don't know we have our pattern drafted. I have the video available and the link is just going to be on the description box. So just click and go draft out your pattern and come back to watch the sewing version. So what I'm doing right now is splitting the front piece into two because we're going to be sewing that back and this is what I have. So this is my front piece and moving on, we're going to cut out the back piece and adding zip allowance. So if you want zip to be on your bodysuit, you're going to go ahead and take the step. Mark 1.5 inch on your fabric. So after folding your fabric into two, mark 1.5 inch. Roll a line to demarcate that from the rest of the fabric and then place your pattern just right after the line, just as seen on the video. Now go ahead and cut round your pattern, making sure you leave your necessary allowance. And that is what I'm doing. I'm just leaving half inch because my fabric stretches. I keep mentioning that. So if yours doesn't, please leave a lot of allowance. Now moving on to the adjusting of the zip. So if you're adding zip to your bodysuit, this is what you're supposed to do. On the neckline, you leave your 1.5 inch allowance. You go down to the waist, you mark one inch of zip allowance. So what I'm doing now is connect my one inch to my 1.5 on the neckline. And then I'm just going to locate the hip and I'll mark 1.5. I'm just using my free hand because I know where the hip is. And then, yeah, I just adjusted my zip. There's a clear video on how to do this. So if you're adding zip to your bodysuit, you need to take the steps. I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the unnecessary parts that I'm not using. And this is my back piece. So your back piece should be splitted into two. If you're using zip now we're going to be creating the facing and for the first piece I'll be creating the facing I'll be doing for the front piece now this is the fabric I cut out and I will fold into two into the wrong side and I'm just going to place the neckline of the front piece on this fabric. But before then, I'm just going to mark 4 inch upwards. This is 4 inch upwards from the fabric. And I'll make sure that the neckline of my front piece sits from the 4 inch. From the 4 inches I just marked. I'll make sure the, the neckline sits there. I'll place my book and then trace out the neckline by cutting this out. So when I cut this out, you see that the shape of the front neckline is going to be on this fabric now. It's just going to be duplicated on the fabric. So this is what I have. Now what I need to do now is mark 3.5 inches round the facing. So I'll just keep marking 3.5 inches round the facing. 
So what I'm trying to do now is just get my desired shape for the facing. And once I have that sorted out, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the unwanted fabric. And you guys will see how my facing looks. Please, if you know you have issues with making out facing, I can just dedicate a short clip and show you guys how to really, really create your facing. Please let me know in the comment section. So this is what I have for my facing. I'm just going to place this on my front piece, right side facing right side. And I will sew on the neckline by quarter an inch. And I will also sew in my front piece together to close the middle line, the center front line. I'm just going to sew it by half an inch. And then once I'm done sewing it by half an inch, I'll sew the facing on the neckline and also hem the base of the facing. That's the raw edges of the facing. I'll hem this by half an inch. So we'll move on to creating the back facing for the neckline. I just have a fabric folded into two and I'm just going to place the back neckline on this, making sure I have allowance at the base before the neckline. And then I'll go ahead and trace the back neckline on this fabric to duplicate it. And once I have that, I'll just shaping this facing into the shape I want it. I'll just my desired shape. And then split it into two because you know the back is split into two. Okay. And what I'll do now is place each facing on each neckline. Right side facing right side. And I'll go sew and also hem the base just as we did for the front piece. Here is my front piece. I am done sewing this to the neckline and I'm just going to use my hemming gum to hold down the piece into the fabric. And this is my hemming gum. This is what hemming gum looks like. And this is really cheap in the market. You can get this for 150, 200 tops. So once I was done ironing, this is how clean the neckline of my front piece look. So this is my back piece and I am done attaching the facing and this is how clean it looks too. So what I'll do first is close the back piece, um, the zip side. I'm just going to sew that by one inch. So I'm placing the two back pieces together and I'm just going to sew by one inch. This is what I'm doing. Now for me, I don't want zip on my bodysuit. I did all this part for those people that need to attach zip to their bodysuit. This is the zip allowance. You go ahead and attach a zip. But for me, this is it. I'm just going to close that space and I'm not using it anymore. So the next step for me to do now is attach my front piece to my back piece and I'll place this right side facing right side. And I'll sew on the shoulder by half an inch and also sew on the sides by half an inch. That is it for the joining of the back piece and the front piece. So if your fabric really stretches, I don't think you even need to add allowance. You just have to sew in into your measurements. So when you wear this, it is really fitted. So this is it. This is what I have. Um, what I will do now is at the base where the crotch is, I'm just going to hem this by quarter an inch. I'll fold in twice and I'll hem. Like I'll sew this in by quarter an inch. Folding it twice and just hemming. So I'll start from the crotch of the front and I'll do this to the other side of the back piece and then back to the front. I'm just hemming all around. Okay, you guys, I set this on the pattern drafting that we need to add more fabrics to the crotch so that this can overlap when we're trying to close our bodysuits on the crotch. So I did the first part on the front piece and this is how it looks. Now I'll be attaching for the back piece. And what I did was cut out a fabric that is three inches wide. That is what I have here. It is folded into two and it is three inches wide and i'm just sewing this on all sides to close this up leaving one side open because that side i'll be using to attach the fabric to the crotch of the back piece so i am just trimming out this so it is flat when i flip to the right side so i'm sewing this in also so now when I flip this fabric to the right side, see what I have. Just going to go ahead and attach this particular fabric to the crotch of the back piece. I have the front piece done already. So what I did was just fold in the raw edges of the fabric I just finished sewing. And then I folded it in by half an inch and I placed the back crotch in between the fabric. And I'm just going to top stitch on it like this. 
if you don't understand what is happening, I would advise you just pause, slow it down and just take your time and watch. I'm just attaching extra fabric to the crotch. So I'm just going to top stitch on all side of this new fabric attached to the crotch. And you guys are going to see how it looks when I'm done. So I'm just sewing all around. I'm back to the beginning and top stitch again. And this is how it looks. So now this will overlap when I'm about to close this at the crotch. So this is my pressing buttons and I'm just going to be attaching the pressing buttons to the front and the back crotch. And this is just going to help me lock in my crotch when I wear my bodysuit. And that is it for this part. Moving on to creating the sleeves. And um, to do this, I will go ahead and place my tape on the armhole and measure. And remember this um, particular bodysuit has a high shoulder. So... I'm just checking what I have and you guys can see I got 10 inches so 10 inches is what I'm working with I have my fresh pattern paper here and I already ruled a starting line on the top and on the side so these are my starting lines make sure you have your starting lines and what I'll do now is mark the 10 inches I got on the armhole on this part of the line on the top line I'm just marking 10 inches for my starting line into my pattern and then where i have my 10 inches um this is the 10 inches i'll go down by five inches from that point i'm just marking five inches down from my 10 inches and once i have that point indicated i'm just going to go ahead and freestyle this i'll use my free hand to create a curve from the Starting line here, I'm just making dot 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 to meet the five inches. And when I'm satisfied, I'm just going to trace it out like this. And this is the easiest way to just quickly draft out your pattern for the sleeve. So yeah, so this is five inches. You guys don't forget. So once I have that sorted out, I'm just going to go ahead and mark my sleeve length. And for this bodysuit, I'll be using 25 inches. So 25 inches is my sleeve length. I'll mark that down from the starting line. Don't forget, from the starting line, you go down and mark your sleeve length. And the next thing for me to mark is my elbow point. Because this sleeve is not free at the elbow, it is tight, so I need my elbow point. So I'm placing my tape on the starting line and also going down to mark my elbow point. So I'll go ahead and divide my round elbow by two and mark this down on the elbow point. Is 12 divided by two gives you six inches. I'm marking six inches here. And then I'll move to the armhole. I'll go ahead and place my tape to get the 10 inches I need. And I have my 10 inches here. I'll connect it down to my elbow line, to my elbow point. So I'm just connecting the 10 inches on the curve down to the elbow point. I'll move down to the length. I'll mark my round wrist divided by 2. And that is 4 inches. So divided my round wrist by 2, I got 4 inches. I'll connect this back to the elbow line. And this is my sleeve pattern. Very simple. All I have to do now is add allowance for sewing. And that will be half an inch. So creative minds, remember we have the armhole on our bodysuit high. Now for the sleeve to be able to match up with the high armhole on the bodysuit, what I'll do here is mark one inch up from this point and I'll blend that one inch back into the curve. I'll blend it back into the sleeve curve like this. And once I have that sorted out, I'll just go ahead and add my half inch allowance for sewing. And that is it for the sleeve pattern. Um, all I have to do now is cut out this pattern. So I go ahead and place on the fabric. So remember that if you're making the high shoulder, you just need to follow this process. So if you add one inch on your armhole, you go ahead and mark one inch on your sleeve. If you added two inches, whatever you added on your armhole, go ahead and add that back on your sleeve. So I'm just cutting out my pattern please do not forget to like this video please do not forget to subscribe if you're new please do not forget to put on your notification bell 
and also go ahead and engage comments and let me know if you have any question any confusion or any suggestion on the comment section okay so the next thing for me to do is place my pattern on the folded fabric and cut. so i did that off the camera and this is how it looks i added two inches to the lens because i need to hem this and this is what i have i have the two sleeves available and i'll just go ahead and sew by half an inch on this side also do the same thing on the second sleeve sew by half an inch and once i was done sewing this is my sleeves i'll flip this to the right side and you guys we are almost done okay so yeah this is the sleeve this is how it looks um what i need to do now is attach my sleeves to the armhole okay and th this is as you can see the sleeves match to the armhole all i have to do is just sew it and this is how i'll be sewing i'll make sure these two lines sit together and i'll flip to the wrong side like this and I will go so once I am done sewing, I will hem the base of the armhole. And there you have it. That was how I was able to create this beautiful high shoulder bodysuit. Please let me know in the comment section. If you find the sewing version detailed, step by step, easy, let me know. And don't forget to like, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the comment section. Thank you again for sticking with me from the beginning to the end. I love you guys so much. You guys keep being creative. Keep being as wonderful as you are. Keep being lovely humans. And I will be seeing you guys on my next video. Bye for now.